Uh, well, he's about the best hitter probably in the National League, and uh, I don't feel too ashamed of it. That was the voice of Whitey Ford, one of the most brilliant left-handers in the history of baseball, and this is Tops in Sports, a production of the United States Air Force. This is Kyle Rowe, and today we'll be talking with Yankee ace Whitey Ford, who has won more World Series games than any man in the annals of baseball. But first, this important announcement. Whitey Ford holds eight World Series pitching records, and Whitey, could you tell us which record you cherish most? Well, Kyle, I think uh, probably uh, the 33 consecutive innings, uh, scoreless innings, I'd say that probably is uh, one of the only records I do hold, and uh, I'm quite proud of it. Well, you know, it's a strange thing, Whitey. You complete most of your World Series games, and yet during the regular season, you're often relieved in the late innings. Now, why is it that in the World Series games, you invariably go the distance? I definitely think you, uh, you concentrate more on a game in a World Series than you do during the regular season. I don't know whether you call it your adrenaline is uh, going a little faster or what you'd call it, but uh, I know during the World Series, I never get, uh, physically, I never get tired. Well, you know, of course, Whitey, there's one fella that you've had quite a bit of trouble with in World Series and All-Star Games, a pretty fair stickman named Willie Mays. Well, uh, Willie started off uh, oh, about seven years ago in an All-Star Game in Milwaukee, and from then on it was uh, nothing but line drives and home runs. He's, uh, he's about the best hitter probably in the National League, and uh, I don't feel too ashamed of it. Well, no, he, he does hit, hit a few other pitchers, too. Yeah, I know there's uh, I, I saw him one day in Ebbets Field get four hits off of Don Newcomb, so uh, I don't feel too bad about it. But uh, I remember uh, in Pittsburgh uh, in the All-Star game about four years ago, uh, Ryan Duran had just struck him out, and uh, he was running out to center field, and I, I was in the bullpen at the time, and I hollered out to him, Willie, don't worry about anything, because I'll be in there soon. And sure enough, I come in about the sixth inning, and... Uh, Willie hit a triple off him, even he won the ball game for the National League that day. Well, did uh, Willie have anything to say to you when you told him to hang around a while? No, he, Willie, Willie don't say much. Uh, in fact, uh, this year, after the first game of the World Series, he got three for four off of me, and uh, that afternoon I received a telegram from uh, somebody, and it said, uh, why don't you pitch every day, and we'll sign Willie. And uh, I knew who it was from, our friend uh, Toot Shore. Uh, I knew it wasn't from Willie because it was uh, sent from New York, and uh, uh, Willie felt quite bad about it the next day. He told me he didn't send the telegram, but uh, I knew it wasn't from him. Well, one more thing, Whitey. I remember once when Lopez first accused you of throwing the spitter, and you said, he has a lot of nerve because I play golf with him in the winter, and I don't go around telling people he doesn't count all of his strokes. So I think he just done it for a joke because uh, we, we play golf quite a bit together in spring training and uh, I think he was just trying to get me mad and uh, he should have known better because I don't get mad at people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just stay that way, Whitey, and thanks a lot for joining us today. You're welcome, Carl. That was Whitey Ford, fans, and this has been Tops in Sports, brought to you by the United States Air Force.